Yo, what's up everyone? We're back with a new vlog. Uh, we got a little bit of an issue. I can't seem to find my passport at the moment as we're speaking. I've apparently lost my passport for about a week plus, week and a half, my mom told me. Because last week when we went to Zealand to Goos to do my CBR thing, I remember afterwards I was like, hey, I got this supposed package that I have to pick up, right? Bear in mind, it was apparently at the posting for about a week. I was like, oh, that's odd. So I go there because my ID is uh, not valid. So I'm actually legal right now at the moment. I'm a Dutch citizen. I'm, you know, Dutch citizen, European citi citi citizen, whatever. But if I, you know, let's say a cop was moved, he said, yeah, that's fine because it's not, you know, it's not legal documents. So I can't find my passport and I have no clue what I did with it. Got my boy Brandon in the back. Um, yes, you're probably wondering, oh my God, what's Brandon doing here? No, he hasn't been kidnapped, nor has he been dumped. I decided, you know, it's been a while since he's been here and he's just chilling on the phone. We actually just got dropped off by my dad, you know, with my cousin's birthday this afternoon. So shout out to Dylan. Um, we're both very tired. It is 6.53 at night time right now. He's actually been here since yesterday. Um, he's got free for two weeks, which is awesome. So we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to go outside just now. I'm going to take the camera with. And we're just going to be ourselves, basically. <laughs> Brandon, what's up? Help me. <laughs> he's just watching TikTok right now. I don't know what you're watching, dude. <laughs> Alright, that's random. So we're gonna go outside just now. So we'll catch you outside. I don't know what he's watching on TikTok. Alright, so we just finished footballing with a couple of strangers. My boy Brandon over Hola. here. He was more of uh, just looking because, you know, these people were kind of harsh. So uh, we're gonna go home now. I don't know what this man's doing. So it's night time right now. I don't know if the camera is able to see me. I sent a video to someone on Snapchat that I was like, whoa, this is what you look like. So now you should be able to see me. Um, yeah, man, it was fun. These, these guys just asked us if they can play football with us. I was like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Got my boy Brandon over there acting up in the background. Yeah, guys were pretty chill. They kind of suck with football, but hey, it's what it is. It's all for the fun, all love. Actually quite cool. The first time this week that someone actually wanted to play football. It is 9.23 right now at night time. I'm sweating as you can see and I shall see you guys later on at my home or whatever the plan is. Brandon is just playing, he's just doing his thing, I'm doing my thing, just going through Snapchat and this in a, a new vlog, a new week. Brandon is staying here until Tuesday night, maybe Wednesday morning even. Uh, for y'all wondering why he stays at my place, this is once a while we do this. We don't do this like every single time, it's been a couple of months, but you know, his parents sometimes I feel like they may want to get rid of him. <laughs> like, you know, like, like private time, you know, it makes a lot of sense. Now, I actually asked if he can come over because, you know, I haven't, hadn't seen him in quite a while. I actually kind of missed him a little while because he's my boy, you know, so, you know, I got to hang around with him. And for any of you saying it's creepy, you're making it creepy, man. I, he has his own room. He has his own food. Well, I make him food. I buy him food. His mom even offered to pay me for the food that I gave him. I said, no, please don't. That's weird. I think it's like more of a cultural thing in like Indonesian countries or Asian countries that, you know, it's, it's, it's they care about each other. So she probably feels bad that I'm spending money on him, but I really don't mind. I like being around him. He likes being around me. So it's cool. I want to show you what he's doing. He's, I don't know, there's like this thing at the background, but it's way too dark. So my camera wouldn't really focus, but we could see what he's doing. We got this as well. Actually surprised that it's wind still. This reminds me a lot of the um, Toy Story thing, the grabble machine, you know, with the little red retarded aliens. Toy Story was awesome. I can't decide which Toy Story was my favorite though. But it was my uh, cousin's, well actually his birthday is only tomorrow technically, tomorrow it's Sunday, it's Saturday night right now, but um, oh god is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing at all. I'm not going to show this person's face, but um, it's a gorgeous night, it's actually wind still, I'm very surprised, so the audio should be pretty good. I gave my cousin a bit of money, because, well, he's he deserves it bro. He's actually had to find a new apartment because his tenant is selling the property that he's at right now, so... That sucks about renting apartments or like any rental property is you can get kicked out any second because it's because it's not yours officially you know it's 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 you're renting it so you're borrowing it basically but brandon's fuck's he doing i don't know all right yep. let's see what you got bro i'm excited okay go i'm waiting <laughs> he's a kid he has to enjoy life i mean shit when i was a kid i used to do this stuff as well back in the uk but it's been a while since he's been there. We're actually also making a mukbang. How many videos we make tomorrow? One or two? Two? One. Okay, okay, that's cool. So um, it's actually been quite a while. My boy's right over here. How are you liking it so far? Yes, I do. God, don't swing with that. Oh. <laughs> I'm being abused, help me. 
How school, man? You haven't said anything. You haven't introduced yourself. You haven't said how you been. Yeah. He's okay, I suppose. I'm actually surprised there's no German kids. And the reason why I mention Germans is because there's a shitload of Germans on the park right now. Well, yeah, last night there were a lot of Germans until 10.30. It's a Saturday. It should be busy. I guess everyone wants a bit of sleep. You... He does his thing. It's nice when he's here. You know, it's really nice. It's chill. What can I say? This place is chill. Yeah, I like it with him. And like I said, I haven't really seen or, nor spoken to his parents in quite a time. And when I say spoke, it's more as if like, I haven't physically met them or really spoke, spe speaking to them. Because Michael has been busy with his life. I mean, shit, I've been fucking busy as well. Don't worry, I'm a distance. He's at the age that he's swearing himself as well. Should I be worried or concerned that Brennan is already talking about uh, sexual interactions slash sexual relationships? Out of nowhere he asks me what does it feel like having sexual interactions with a woman in, my, in this case. I was like, oh, um, <clears throat> okay, kind of out of the blue box, a very normal question. I know some people be like, oh, that is so weird. The kids coming at the age that they're going to get this stuff taught at school. In the Netherlands, I'm not sure how it is in your country. I've got no clue how it is in, you know, in your country. But here in the Netherlands, they, they start keep teaching kids uh, the work of sex, how the cycle of life works, how a baby gets born at the age of, shit, 11, 12, 13. If you're like a kid, you start to think, okay, that's kind of weird. But it's actually good that they start teaching kids at a young age what it's like and, you know, the potential diseases out there. Because you'd be surprised how many kids have sex at the age of 12, 13, 14. They don't know about STDs and know about pregnancies. It's kind of scary. Oh yeah, I showed you a couple weeks ago in a video as well. I'm surprised how stable the quality is of the lightning. It's fucking fantastic. You've got to get some more light here. It's better. But uh, yeah, now I've seen the red stories on kids that get pregnant at the age of 14, 15, and it's like, God damn. Mm, you got to feel bad though, because they're just too young. They don't know what it is. That's why I waited when I had my first third time. Was it special? Nah. But that's to everyone. First time isn't really ever really that special. It's always going to be awkward. Uh, but he asked me that question. I was like, ooh, okay, bit out of the blue, out of context. I don't know. I don't know what. So I said, and I just was honest. Um, that depends. Some women are, you know, tight. Some women are loose. This and that. And it's all different. None of them feel the same. Um, you got to be honest with kid. I'm not going to say lie to him and say, oh, I don't know what it feels like. You got to teach him young. So... Um, he's very honest and open about it. His parents say as well, you know, he's very open and honest at home. He asks us, you know, what is this and this and that. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, like I said, should I be concerned about him asking me these type of questions at that age? Some would arguably say yes, some would arguably say no. You be the judge of it. I mean, if my kid asks me at the age of 11, 12, hey, mommy, how do babies get made? Eventually, kids are going to ask it out of curiosity because they've heard it somewhere from someone. So if you look at a realistic point of view, it's not really that weird. It's actually quite innocent because I was the same at this age, you know. The wind is absolutely terrible right now. So we're going to end this vlog here and I'll see you back at my crib. And we're going to go probably sleep and see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. I just woke up. It's about 10 o'clock. We have like nothing to eat breakfast wise. So me and Brendan are going to go to the store on the park. That's the nice thing about the park. We got a little store here. And it should especially be open now since and considering that it's in high season right now. Because we were in low season. We call it lax. I saw the Netherlands which just basically kind of me is like there's no one here so it just wouldn't make sense for the cost to efficiently run because they're spending them more money than earning money on the park right but i hope you guys liked the little piece last night brennan is actually staying till tuesday night the weather is absolutely amazing today matter of fact the weather has been fantastic for the past week actually it's uh, not rained this whole entire week super odd in the netherlands it rains pretty efficient here but um, we need water right now at the moment otherwise the plants are going to die the park surrounded with green is absolutely gorgeous. I just greeted my neighbors. They are chill, for you guys wondering. We had a bit of a, dis bit of a disagreement argument a while ago, but uh, they're cool. They even offered me ice cream last week, and I was like, oh, thank you. So i got to offer them something back, obviously. I don't have to, but it's nice. Maybe a, a cake or something. Yeah, but we've made it up. Pancakes. And as you can see, we got a bunch of eggs. This kid right over there sitting and grinning and laughing cost me about 20 bucks for everything he wanted to buy. You can see flour, all purpose flour, got two extra large eggs, we got some milk, biological milk I think if I'm not mistaken, for milk on. So we're gonna make some pancakes. So I made him his pancake, my boy's over here. Yes sir. Yes sir, we eat good in this house. Making myself some pancakes, as you can see we made stuff from homemade scratch. Well you like it so far here? 
Yes. We got approached by some dudes last night. I mean, I said it in the video last night, but he was yeah. mad uncomfortable, but he didn't say nothing. So I want to see what it tastes like. It's not going to be like your normal average one. This is going to be homemade, so it is going to be different texture-wise. It looks like, look it looks like Michael Jackson when he's bleached the skin white. So it's what do you think? I he likes it so far. If you wonder why he's there, his parents are doing something. Ain't that right? His parents abandoned him. <laughs> nah, I, but let's hope not. So here we go. Pretty nice. Okay, so me and Brandon are currently just chilling. He's at the couch. He's, we bought something this morning at the store. I forgot to show you, but I don't know if you guys know what these are, but these are two two ones. These were very popular amongst children years years ago i'm actually surprised he knows what it is he's bought like this grenade this kid cost me so much goddamn money bro every time he's here but you know he's a kid let him play and be a kid um i got the curtain shut as you can see right now because i want to keep the warmth outside of my home right now um he's gonna stay here till tuesday night which is cool so i'm gonna go back home because well i mean i've got all my work done for this week which is absolutely fantastic i have actually overworked last week um, most of the mornings I was up at around 7.30 and I started my videos at 8.30, 9 o'clock and I'm done around 1, 2-ish. Editing and everything, so it's quite a lot of work. People underestimate YouTube work. No business emails this week, which is kind of disappointing. So no new potential sponsorships slash money, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But we're going to go outside just now. We're going to honestly see Brendan. Do you want to go to the beach just now? Do you want to go to the beach? Are you scared of the beach? No, never mind. You should be scared of him. <laughs> nah, um, so we're gonna go outside just now. Okay, so we are back and I actually, conf I didn't confront somebody, but this girl. So look, we arrived at the playground, right? So um, we, we decided to just football a little bit. And then we said, hey, you wanna go to the thing? I said, okay, show, show. We go there, we arrive and this kid says, you know, it's a group. I think the orders was 14, 15. That was maybe 11, 12, 13. And they asked me, how fast is your scooter go? Oh, 32 kilometers an hour. Whoa, that's fast. And this one girl says, oh, that's not very fast. I'm like, all right, sure. Suit it yourself, I suppose. Um, so anyway, it's me and Brendan just, you know, on the swing. And this girl on the field back alone on a step watching something on YouTube, I'm assuming. You know, these kids prof propagating her off saying, hey, emo girl, emo girl, this and this and that. I'm like, okay, they must have some form of beef that I'm not aware of. None of my business. I just stay out of it. But they then continue to harass her with words saying she's ugly, this and this and that. I'm just like, damn, that's kind of fucking sad. You guys are with like five, six and she's on her own. She's just minding her own goddamn business from what I know so far. I haven't seen what she's done before that. But anyways, they, after five minutes, they go to her. And the one girl, you know, the one girl with a big mouth in the beginning, she says, I'm going to hit her. I'm going to beat her up. So I'm like, damn. You better not do none, none strange before I beat your ass up too. I mean, I may, I may not know you guys, but I will stand up in front of someone regardless of what they've done. You know, it's not fair five against one, you know. This shit is whack. You don't do that. People always feel and act tough and untouchable when they're in a group. But once you catch them lacking on their own, they got a whole different ass attitude. Trust me. Experience. So anyways, they go to her and I'm just looking at it from distance. I can't really see much because the trees are in front of me. I'm like, okay, what are they doing? I'm like, okay, this is kind of weird. They go back and back. So I say to Brennan, okay, let's play a little bit for a while i want to see what this girl has up to so i was like oh shit i lost her and then i see her in the shadow i'm like hey can i ask you something she said yeah what's up these people just know were they harassing you she said yes they were harassing me i said they didn't uh, physically touch or hurt you or anything because eh? if so you come to me i'm here i'm here around the area i live here if you, if you need someone uh, just you know just say what's up to me she said oh, okay i said uh you guys don't have any history with each other you guys know each other she said no i don't know who they are i was just minding my business and they started harassing me calling me names and they went up to me i said okay just make sure these type of people you gotta look at it like this the losers you're better than them i said too i just felt so fucking bad because i was just like sometimes you can help someone really even if it just means hey are you doing fine if they hurt you or anything because i don't want to just say i'm very concerned even though i don't know her, but i just felt kind of like I didn't feel right that she was on her own, no one to, to protect her. And I was watching her from distance. I saw, and she eventually said to me, thank you. I said, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. You're welcome. My pleasure. Yeah, I stood off her. And I asked her how she was if she didn't get beat up by them or something, which is nice. But, yeah, that story, basically. Um, I didn't catch it on camera, obviously, because I wasn't like, oh, i got to record this. Stuff like that you keep off camera recording-wise. But I just thought I'd speak about it because I got bullied in the past. And I will admit something, I bullied as well. 
and that's the thing often people that bully often bullied or bullied you know what I mean like they often have been bullied or gone through stuff people that bully aren't sure not sure it's not themselves but anyways Brendan says Brendan is watching some on his phone uh, I'm gonna chill right now this afternoon because god damn am I kind of tired I ain't gonna lie I'm pretty tired me and Brendan have been doing a lot We've been doing a lot of stuff, man. I mean, we've been up until 11 o'clock at night watching TV, going outside. We might go outside tonight. Probably not. We'll see. But the park is very much fun. It's a lot of fun, actually. I'm not sure if his parents miss him or if he misses his parents, but he was a little bit crumpy this morning. He wanted to actually go home this morning, but I was able to convince him and say, listen, if you're liking it here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, stay, man. Come on, you're just a bit agitated because you went to bed late. You're playing this stupid video game at 9 in the morning. Come on. He said, okay, we show. So uh, I won't waste any more of your time. So Brandon has made something. Yeah. Um, I, I gotta show it. Now show it now. You gotta show the art. Come on, show what you did. <laughs> a rocket ship. I'm starting to really consider this man has a thing for penises and <laughs> male genitals. I mean, he's coming at that age that he might be into men potentially. No. I mean, come on, bro. You lying if you ain't saying you into it. Let me look at that. Show it again. <laughs> I mean, look what this is. He's I'm got the details from the from the balls to the I'm, nut. I mean, I ain't lying. I if I child. say I haven't ever done that, but um, I'm a child. I'm a child. I'm a child. <laughs> what have his parents done to me? What have they created in the first place? A disaster, just like me. Mm. But yeah, we just came back from eating two ice cream. And this kid cost me a lot of money. God damn, you like spending my money, yeah. You just spent what I normally spend in a week, but that's fine if it means that I have fun and enjoyment with someone, then then it doesn't matter. But it's better, um, than, it's better than nothing. So we're not gonna end the vlog yet. No, tomorrow is a Monday. We'll probably end it tomorrow because he's going back Tuesday Tuesday night. Yeah, so who's picking you up? Your mom or dad? I think my mom. Okay, then well, it doesn't matter who's gonna pick you up. I might come back home actually and game with you a little bit. You can come with us. Yeah, cause because Thursday I have to be home anyway, so. We're gonna end this video here and I'll can see you guys tomorrow it? morning. Yeah, you can show it. I mean, honestly, dude, check it later. All right, it is a Monday and we're gonna close off this video. I'm very tired. Sorry, I have slept very bad as you can see, obviously. But Brandon is in the room right now. Let's say hello to him, I guess. Brandon, he's over there. Obviously, he's made a mess. Well, that's actually me. I just finished the video. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just chill next to him, I suppose. Get everything stacked up from the action to the jumbo. Not very much has changed in my home, uh, except for really those white curtains a couple, I think two, three months ago. Water, as you know, obviously your boy's been drinking a lot of water. He has some of these candles, which are actually very nice. If you're what this is, this is a schoon label they call it, so a shoe fork, which basically just means that if it's very tight here, which by the way, the shoes are fucking fire, look at that. Like, they're actually cooler than mine. Just put them in there and then it's done. Just drove back as you can obviously see. I swear my camera's races. It don't like black objects. Oh, now you do. Mm, yeah, because I said it. Uh, got a whole collection of clothing that is actually not worn. So I'm actually going to take this to my room for a bit. There you go. I've got so much clothing. I don't even know what I have anymore. But this is the door. I figured out some of these tiny homes also got like lock mechanisms on there. I mean, I could technically do that, but would I really need it or want it? I mean, want is not really the thing, but need it is, I mean, shit, definitely fine if somebody breaks in that they can't just open your door while you asleep. But, well, we'll see. Anyways, we're going to end this vlog. Um, really hope you guys enjoyed this. This was recorded during three days. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm going to take a nap. I'll see you guys later, man. Hey, have a fantastic weekend and hope you enjoyed this little vlog.